hoops. They come in different shapes, sizes and colors. They can be round, big, smaller, triangular, pierced or tattooed and that's all cool and all normal. With my board games I hope to inspire and show diversity and change something. I'm Zuzia Kozelska girard I'm 32, I'm from Poland, Warsaw, and here is where I design and produce game boards. My mission is to change people's views on traditional games and show them a new way to learn about women. Boob is a body positive wooden memory game where you need to find um, a pair of boobs which match. The idea was to show that our bodies are normal and that we don't need to make them perfect, a perfect match. And also show this to our kids. I have to say that Milo is a big fan of boob. Like in general, he's a fan of boobs, like as all kids are, you know, passing like from breastfeeding, like something that they're curious about. And then you can involve in a conversation and explain, okay, yeah, my boobs are like this one, or this is like more like mine, and these are more like aunt's boobs, or ah, oh, these, I've never seen someone with this kind, but yeah, they are real and they can exist, so. When I talked about boob with people, they get a bit uncomfortable. And I'm like, but what? Like, is this like a memory with, but like with breasts? And is it for kids? And I'm like, yes, of course, but they love it. Why do we push the boob into a taboo subject? There is no sense into it. So, but this is like a true reaction from people that they are a bit uncomfortable. But actually, when we play, it's so much fun. She was funded on a crowdfunding platform. I thought that we aimed to sell about 200 games. At one point, it got so viral and out of control. She was actually an answer to my frustration being a parent because when I had my daughter she would get all those comments about her looks like oh look how she's pretty look what a pretty dress and then I heard those other comments that were gave to boys and they were mostly about their abilities and what they did and how strong they were or how fast or how capable and really encouraging also so I thought like there's something wrong here and I thought okay there need to be a way also to show parents and to encourage them to show girls women with real history behind them who did like amazing thing in the world and that they can inspire girls to do this kind of thing so that the looks is really not your basic goal. We are really faced with these body standards that we see everywhere. When I was a teenager, I tried to fit those body standards and I tried to look like I saw that women look like around me in the magazines or on the internet. That's a lot of pressure and it's not easy to accept that you can have a different shape of body. I don't think that I would call myself an activist, maybe an, an inspirist, <laughs> that would be more like a word for it. Right now it's a difficult and challenging moment for us in Poland, for women, uh, about women's rights, but also about getting equality for everyone. My hope is to change the view of people about diversity and tolerance and I hope that we can all contribute to a more tolerant co conditions and surroundings for kids. I hope that they will be able 
to live surrounded by acceptance and encouragement.